HD Television is on the air. You can now check out past Office Corner episodes on our media page at www.hdtelevisionmedia.com where you will get news, features, blogs, book reviews, and updates from our sponsors. That's www.hdcamelmedia.com. Welcome to my AT Insider at www.hdcamelmedia.com. Here you get a few stories, a few interviews, my weekly gripes, which y'all have plenty of them, blogs, uh, timely news articles on different things, and more. In fact, we're working on new content even as we speak and I record this broadcast. Now, right now, I want to say hello to everybody. Let you guys know that Hard Drive Publishing's got a lot of things going on this year. We're going to be doing a lot more things this year, but I want to talk about one person I've been neglecting in Hard Drive Publishing, and that is myself. So, this blog here will be about the HD in the HD camera production. Over the past few years, I've been telling you about different things I'm doing, my authors are doing. Um, I mean, we published uh, we published quite a few books over the last few years. Uh, we've got authors that are that that are now two time authors. Uh, we're going to be three time authors here soon. I'm still boasting the youngest author to be published here at Hard Drive Publishing, which she's which she's actually about to have a birthday here coming soon, and I'll be teasing that here in a minute. Um, but the only thing I've been neglecting to talk about or work on is myself. <laughs> I've been I haven't published anything in two years. I do admit that I've actually had certain people who thought I was dead. Long story, not gonna get into it. Um, but I do have a lot of readers that have been asking me what's been going on with me. So, we're going to talk about that today. First, I'm going to let you know, things, things have not changed. i got to give you some hard drive updates. One of our newest authors, Katar Johnson, here in a couple of weeks, is about to publish a 30-day devotional. The devotional is wonderful. If you if you're trying to get back right with God, if you're already with God and you just want extra help, if you just need thirty days to get yourself together on a thirty day fast, things like that, this will help you out. She gives you uh scripture, she gives you a little a bit of her wisdom and insight and trust me, this will not be the last of what we hear from Katara Johnson. She is wonderful, and I'll give you an update and a few dates on publishing. And stay tuned for promos. Next will be our author, C. Love. Her sophomore book will be coming here soon. I'll give you a date on that. It's the uh, continuation for her last book, which is a short piece called Hidden Desires, in which that book is a mess, and I am so glad that I get a chance to do the continuation of it because... I'm telling you, if Hidden Desires left you hanging to the point where the book was so hot and you ready to ring my neck, or probably her, she wrote it. <laughs> Don't ring mine, ring her. Anyway, uh, you're going to definitely love her sophomore piece, which is a continuation, so stay tuned for that. Then there's my brother, J. Elliot Howard. I mean, his two books, Take a Walk With Me, well, first, let's do, let's do them in order. Rewritten Lives, and then second in the series, Take a Walk With Me, um, are just doing excellent. In fact, he's actually the first author to be signed and published under uh, Hard Drive Publishing. He has a third book. Now, there are three in this series, but this ain't the third book in the series. This book here is um, a, different, a, a, a different book, and I will give you more news on it. Uh, here, here in a few weeks, and I'm telling you, if you love these two books of poetry, you're gonna love, you're gonna definitely love this one. Trust me. The cover is done by his son. Um, excellent cover. Everything is gonna be great. Then next, I want to give a shout out to my brother Thunder Heartline. Thunder Heartline just recently published a book called The Book of Thunder, and I'm telling you, the poetry in there is lived up to the name. Book of Thunder. Now, Thunderheart Lion, I mean, he's not done. He's got other books. He's got a 
poetry he did. Now, I say that because he has actually one of the strongest book launches right now under Hard Drive Publishing and the first book published this year. So he actually leads the charge and actually a great and actually a great start off for the year, leading the charge for a great book opening. So kudos to him. Now we're back on the subject of me. And yes, I do hate talking about myself, but I'm not gonna be a hypocrite because I keep telling you, you always gotta promote yourself. It's time for me to promote myself. So I made a lot of bold moves personally, but I'm making the bold move personally so that way I can help my other authors move forward. Cause see, if I'm never I'm never leaving my authors blind. And if I got a problem with my stuff, I'm going to take care of my stuff. So, a uh, long story short, um, right before I published the reprint of How to Lose a Black Woman, my publishing company folded. Um, so I bought the rights to all my books back, and now I'm republishing everything under hard drive. I didn't like the distribution for I I, re, I did republish. Late Murder at 10 as well as Tempestra, but I didn't like the way the distribution was going and I didn't like how Amazon was doing independently, so I got brand new distribution now. So, because also they did do me dirty with the, with, with the launch of Book of Thunder as well. So, I got new distributing uh, channel. Um, all new covers will be done under Navi Robbins. Navi Robbins is excellent. And and here's his website. He, I mean, Navi is a great brother. He, I took all of my books off the market. Only thing there is How Was a Black Woman. The only reason How Was a Black Woman is still there because I worked so hard on making sure that book was perfect. I wanted to be sure that that book did not go anywhere. All the other reprints I'm taking off because I'm retooling those. Those are going to be perfect when you get those back. And actually, here, here's a list of, because I published seven books in all. So here's the list of the books that will be coming back soon with, you know, reprints, biggest, you know, updated stories, everything. Late Matter at 10. Book one in the Mark Alexander Mystery Suspense series. The Sergeant Wise Guy Chronicles. Book one in the Spice Thriller series. Tempestra. Book one in my Paranormal Romance series. Garth, The Virtual Killer. The second book in the Mark Alexander Mystery Suspense series. The Warhawk, a Sergeant Wise Guy Chronicle. The second in the Spy series, Thriller series. And finally, Geraldine, sequel to How to Lose a Black Woman, with both a spin-off character and continuation of Ruth Williams' story. And those will be in addition to new stories coming up. However, don't be outdone, because I'm not going to be just sending out reprints, because in between those, There'll be a lot of new books coming out. I've got a lot of new books I'm working on, a lot of new stories I'm working on, including a, a few Kindle Bella series. I mean, I'm ready for the Kindle Bella series. I'm excited about those. But to keep those hush hush. But please, they're going to start coming soon. And uh, definitely watch out for dates. Now, in addition, I'm also going to be revamping my website at www.hccampbellpro.com. There, I'm going to make the, uh, it'll probably be less pages, it'll be more interactive, it'll probably it'll be more about my books and services and getting to know me better. Um, it's going to be more interactive, um, interactive videos, you get to talk to me and it'll be an extension of my social media as well, especially my author H.C. Campbell page as well as my personal pages. Um, I want you to be able to get access to me, ask me questions about books, uh, explain to me about characters, uh, get my services, ask me about editing, things like that. So, www.hcampro.com. 
I will also have a date on when that will be ready. Just like to see my other authors come. I, I mean, this especially this summer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have authors doing spoken word. I'm gonna have authors in stores. I'm gonna have authors doing these, doing that. So many things. I'm gonna have so many authors everywhere. It's gonna be. I you, you, you you're gonna get tired of seeing it. Well, hopefully not. But you're gonna. I'm always gonna be in your face. I am no exception. I'm gonna be always in your face. In fact. I'm actually going to make an announcement on my personal book day starting May 6th. Um, my, you know, it's my next few book projects. I'm going to have projects out in between their projects and in between the uh, reprints of my other projects. It's going to be so many projects out there through hard drive. I'm sorry, it's hard not to talk about my other authors, but I just want you guys to know there's always going to be something beautiful to read from us. If it's not from me, if it's from my other authors, if it's from Annie D, to J. Lee Howard, to C. Love, to, mm -hmm. actually I have a lot brand new authors as well, which I'll be talking about here in the coming days and weeks. So I'm very happy and I'm very excited and I'm very blessed. I'm also going to have a lot of original YouTube content as well um, for HD television. Outside of the office corner, I'm working on a lot of different things. I'm also want to try to have a drama series, things like that. I'm just, it's going to be a lot of things I'm putting together that I'm working with a lot of people on. Um, more than just news and information, I want to do a lot of different things. And I have the opportunity, I have the talent and the equipment, and boy, I'm going to get a lot of things done. You, again, you guys are going to get tired of seeing me. <laughs> also, um, in the office corner, I'm going to upgrade my two cents segment. My two cents segment is basically where I give you um, information on um, to better your writing, to better your marketing, uh, problems I have within the industry, uh, encourage you within the industry. I'm also going to give you guys writing prompts and possible assignments. If you guys have questions or things you want to know and you want me to mention on the show, I can also give you HTCamel3 at MSN.com or contact me uh, through the HT Insider as well, which will also take you there, which will also take you there. There will be brand new office corners coming up. I have people that are doing new movies now. I have people that are coming out with new books. I have a lot of different things coming up, so stay tuned for brand new office for us, speaking of AC television. Now comes my two cents, because since I'm actually doing this on the weekly gripe thing, I've got to give you my two cents. Stop being afraid of talking about yourself. You're an author, you sell books. Sell your books. Take books with you. Uh, read your books at the doctor's office, on the bus, if you ride the bus, um, at the restaurant, wherever you go, always have books with you. Somebody may be willing to buy a book, some people may be willing to find out who you are. Even if you gift a book or sell a book, somebody's going to know who you are and they're going to read you and 20 other people are going to read you. I mean, you never, ever, ever stop selling yourself. I even had a woman to tell me one time, what, you're going to tell people every day I have a book out? Have a, yes, you do tell everybody you have a book out. You sell yourself. Does Walmart um, close after, does Walmart close after one day? No. They sell the same things every day, every week. Does McDonald's close? And see, here's the other problem. You run into a Walmart, Walgreens, McDonald's on almost every street corner. That's marketing right there. You can't go past 10 blocks without at least two, three Walgreens, two, three McDonald's, two, three Walmarts. Marketing. In other words, you got to always tell people you're there. You know, when I say never stop talking about your projects, Go on people's podcasts. Hell, come on the office corner. I'll be happy to talk to you. Um, social media. Social media is perfect. 
get out there and make posters, go to bookstores, tell you if the books, if, if the Bible Pop bookstore don't have your book, tell them about your book. Tell people who want to do books on consignment. Listen, if your friend has a store, ask your friend if you can sell books on, in the store. I mean, this is where we need to stop being afraid. Um, <laughs> if I can take anything from the players club, you know, anything from the players club, closed mouths don't get fed. That's it. A closed mouth does not get fed. You're not begging for anything. You're not thumbing off of people. You have a product in which you sell. And do not be afraid to sell that. To love yourself is to market your stuff every day. Like I just said, don't let people tell you that it's egotistical or you shouldn't be doing that or any of that. Don't let nobody tell you you're wrong for selling your books every day. I mean, you're not even going to the same five people every day. You got people on the streets you don't even know. You don't know everybody in your city. And you can be taking you can be taking your kids to the aquarium. Boom, here we go. You can be you can be going to you can be going on a spa day. Boom, there you go. Just a simple shopping trip. Bam, there you go. You we go everywhere. And in the, and in the last vlog I talked about going on winery trips out of town, things like that. Take your books with you there. Take it on the plane, the bus, however you're getting around. Because there's someone who hasn't read your book. And even if your book is five years old, it's due to someone. Finally, and this is kind of off topic, but I'm speaking to my mail writers. And I really do mean this to my mail writers. We have to take care of ourselves. The reason I'm speaking to our mail writers is because we're the world's worst at going to the doctor. Well, mail, well, some males in general, not stereotypical, but some of us are the world's worst going to the doctor. We're not just writing books. We're writing legacies for our children and our grandchildren and those coming after us. I mean, we lost a good man last year, Eric Jerome Dickey. I don't know, we got robbed of Eric Jerome Dickey. He was a great writer, a great author. Got a chance to meet him. Good people are dying over stuff that could have been preventable. What got me thinking about this is because the other day I did a write-up on Luther Vandross. And I knew about him getting sick and everything. But when I looked at the age he died, I'm thinking, he was young. He was 54 years old. One of my favorite singers of all time died young. I'm going to be 49 this year, so I'm almost near that age. And I know a lot of times I did have to deal with blood pressure and things like that. But then I thought about it. I want to start taking care of myself. I want to be here. To keep talking smack on this phone. I want to be here to publish more books. I want to be here to leave a legacy for my children and grandchildren. I want to continue reading your books 20 years from now. I want y'all to continue reading my books 20 years from now. You know. I just want us to be okay as writers and authors. Some of you ladies can learn from this too. And some of you ladies who are um, discovered about the doctor, go to the doctor too. I'm just picking on us because I know a lot of times we're kind of not good with that. Well, I will hit you up with dates as soon as these books are done. Um, let you know when my books will be out, my other author's books will be out. Peace 
And as always, let your body feel your spirit, and God bless. You're watching an HD television production.